everybody, it's Amber. It was requested that I do a video with my file effects planner and I have recently started using this in a new way. Um, I use this as both my wallet and my cash envelope system if you're familiar with Dave Ramsey. So that's pretty new to me but I'm really liking the way that it's going and we've only been doing this for a few days. We did this back when I was pregnant with my oldest son and it worked really well but we really wanted to get our budget and our spending under control and so i really like the way that this is going so far so the planner that i chose is the file effects um, personal size this is the original that's the model that it's called and this is the purple patent leather i really like this one because it's a really pretty shade of purple and it's just a good size to keep in my purse it's not too big and it's not too small so let's go through it so when you open this up here, I have this quite full, um, and like I said, it's because of the way that I use this. It's not just a planner for me, um, but when you open this one up, the first thing um, on this side, you've got two card holders, and there's also a pocket right here. Right now, the only thing I have in this is a TCBY frozen yogurt card that we got when we took the kids on Saturday. Um, and then there's also a pin loop right here, which sometimes I use, sometimes I don't. And then this little elastic right here, which I have found, uh, this doesn't hold very much. Um, not even really a business card. You know, a business card is about this. Well, I guess you could slip some of those down in there, but, um, you know, that's about it. So, um, this part for me is not overly useful. And then the first thing you saw when I opened this up, this is a list of all the apps I had on my phone. Uh, because I've been having major phone issues and I'm gonna have to restart from the ground up. But that's a whole other story we're not gonna go into. So the first thing that you see here, um, I just made like a little cover sheet um, out of cardstock because I like pink and I like sparkly and so, you know, I thought that was pretty. So that's there. And then on the back side, I will keep some sticky notes. And right now what we have going is a list of household items that I need to buy, dishwashing detergent, um, batteries, that sort of thing. And so the next part of this goes into, these are all card holders. I ordered these off of Amazon. Um, these can be expensive depending on what brand you buy, but um, I was able to find this pack and they were really, really cheap. So I'll put the link for that in the description box below. Um, these aren't even all of them that came in the pack. So, and I think it was less than $5. So that's seriously inexpensive. So I've turned around some of my cards, but I just keep here. Um, my bank card that I use most often is in this slot. I keep some business cards here. My driver's license and social security card goes down here. And then from there on out, um, any, you know, I turn these things around. So for privacy reasons, but you can see kind of um, how I use these. I also keep um, the store cards that I have, like my CVS card, my rewards card for the movie theater, my rewards card for Ulta, restaurants, things like that. Um, all of that stays in here. Health insurance card, grocery store, children's museum, those sorts of things. We won't go through all of that. Um, I also keep um, one of these slide pockets here, and in here I have stamps. Um, I keep receipts, coupons, things like that. Um, that all stays in this pocket. I used to keep my checkbook in here, but whenever I added the envelope system, that became too bulky, so I had to take that out. So next up, we get to the main event of this, which is my envelope system. Um, when my son Evan, or when I was pregnant with my son Evan, we took the Dave Ramsey course, and we we um, did the envelope system for a long time then. That was uh, about eight years ago, but we've gotten away from it, unfortunately, and so now we're getting back to it. And so the inspiration from this came from watching some other YouTube videos, and I thought that I love this planner, but I didn't feel like I was utilizing it to the full potential. So um, turning it into my wallet and then my envelope system really made sense for me because I already carried this around anyway, so I didn't want to buy something else. I also didn't want to buy envelopes. I thought if we're trying to save money here with um, doing the Dave Ramsey system, I didn't want to buy envelopes put in here and I couldn't find any that I really liked. So what I did was I made these. Um, I found a tutorial online and um, I just ordered a pack of cardstock. I could have went to the store and bought it, but 
I live kind of in the middle of nowhere, so to go to a Staples or an Office Max would have been a drive. So I just ordered this cardstock. It came in pastel colors, and it's, um, I hope you, the camera picks it up, but it's a like a pearlescent finish, sort of. And so I just printed them out, cut them out, glued them, and you've got this nice, very sturdy envelope because it's made out of the cardstock. And if they wear out, then all I have to do is make another one very, very cheaply because it was a big pack of cardstock. And then so I, um, the, the template that was used to make these, you could print this um, ledger here right on the front, but because of the type of paper it is, that did not go over really well. So I just printed um, this out and then just used um, double-sided scrapbooking tape to stick that on there. So I can um, I can just remove that and, and add a new one whenever I need to do that. So um, you'll probably notice, depending on what your budget is, mine probably looks very small in some of these areas, um, and that's okay. A budget is very, um, individual and I did um, I was trying to figure out if I even wanted to show the amounts that's on here but I'm not really overly concerned about that and these are not all the all my envelopes these are just the ones I carry with me um, so we're just gonna go through these kind of quickly um, and just keep in mind too that my husband and I like for example the date night envelope we don't go on dates every single week I wish we did but we don't because of childcare reasons um, so this will just add up and we'll eventually, you know, we'll have a good amount in there. So we have date nights and if you're not familiar with the envelope system, the way that it works is every time you get paid, you pull out, you know, your set amount of cash um, from what you've already budgeted and you mark it down as a deposit when you fill your envelope. And then every time you use it, which you'll see um, on some other ones I have here, that you will um, just mark how much you've taken out. So you have the cash here in all these different areas that's already been allocated. So we have date night, we have an envelope for our dogs and chickens, so this covers um, their food, vet, vet bills for the dogs, um, things like that, anything they would need. Um, clothing for the kids, clothing for me and Mike, um, family time. This one, um, because you know we had a date night envelope, and so I wanted to make sure we had an envelope for anything that we did as a family. So that's what this is. And so last weekend we took the kids to the Y. There's a big water park at our Y. Um, so we went there. I bought Lindy a pair of goggles before we went. Um, see, I mark everything down. Even if it's if I take a dollar out of here, it comes out. And I also color code it. So deposits are in black and withdrawals are in red. And then we took the kids to TCBY for frozen yogurt. Um, afterwards so you can see that we went from $40 and we still have 22 in it so um, that's how that works now the only thing um, and I have an envelope in here right now for this but um, as far as gas goes for me and my husband I have ordered prepaid cards from our bank um, because for my husband it is I don't know um, well for both of us really when it, when you go to a gas station it's a lot easier to just pay at the pump so we're going to use prepaid cards for that but I am going to keep track of it on a ledger but I had to um, start with an envelope because it's going to be a little bit before the cards get here so anyway that's how that's going to go but once my card does get here I'll keep track of that um, right here on this ledger and then my grocery money this is one area where I feel like I did not budget enough um, and this is for a week, uh, by the way. This is for just this week. So I started out with $150. Um, I do think I'm going to have to increase that. Um, actually, I did add, um, I think I added, yeah, I added $25 to that. So it's actually $175. Um, so we'll see how we go and, and we'll adjust from there. And that's the beauty of doing a budget is you can, you can adjust it as you need to. Take things out, add things, whatever. Um, home improvement. The reason why I carry this one around is because um, my husband will frequently ask me to stop and pick something up, so I want to make sure I have the money for that. And um, Aldi, actually, our grocery store here, had a really awesome deal on landscaping fabric. Normally, Home Depot has it for $10 a roll, and Aldi's had it for $1.25. So having the money here, I uh, bought about 10 rolls of that for him. Um, household needs. Previously, when doing an envelope system, we had um, things like 
baby diapers and wipes and household cleaners and things like that, I would take out of the grocery budget because it was something that, you know, I purchased from um, the grocery store. And so what I was finding though was that was taking away a significant part of my food budget. So I wanted to make sure that I had an envelope for any, any sort of household needs, light bulbs, um, batteries, dishwashing soap, laundry detergent, diapers, you know, all those things. Um, I did not want to pull away from our food money with that, so that's what the household needs envelope is for. And then each one of us gets a certain amount of spending money every week that we can use for whatever we want. And um, this week it was $20 each, and I gave mine to my husband for Father's Day. And then this is where I keep up with how much um, money is on my husband's gas card. And I do have some other envelopes that aren't, aren't currently in here. Um, we have an envelope for our kids' school tuition. We have an envelope for vehicle maintenance and uh, repairs and things like that. And then we also have an envelope for furniture maintenance, or not furniture maintenance, furniture replacement, a furniture replacement fund. Um, but those stay here. Now, let's say that any of these envelopes um, if they accumulated more than $100, like let's say my kid's clothing fund got to about the point of $100, um, what I would do is I would either um, take out this envelope or just make like a second envelope at home for that um, because I don't want to carry around a ton of money in, the, in these, um, you know, just for safety purposes. Um, the only one that ever has a whole lot of money in it, and it's not really a whole lot, but... Um, $150 went in this one right from the start, but as you can see, it didn't even stay that much for a day. So, um, anyway, I do try to minimize risk that way, and I suppose that as time goes on, I will find, I may find that some of these envelopes are not, um, needed to carry around on a daily basis, and we'll just, you know, we'll go from there as, as that works out. So, uh, but moving on in the planner, now you actually get to the part that has the planning, um, which is very a very small portion of this actual um, file of facts so i keep um, my monthly calendar spread here and so um, i don't write anything with work in here other than just a little reminder for the class i teach on tuesday nights everything else this is um, family stuff personal things you know stuff like that so that goes in here and then on the next tab um, if i whenever i choose to use this and i don't um, I'm trying to go to a blank page. I don't use this every day, um, but if I if I do need to split up my day, like if I have a whole bunch going on, this goes from seven o'clock in the morning till nine thirty at night, and you know I can put a to do list, what we're eating, how much water I'm drinking, and then and then fill all that out from there. So um, that's that section, and then I also have a grocery list here, which. Um, and then on the back side of it is a menu plan. And I haven't actually gotten around to using these pages yet, but um, hopefully sometime in the near future, I'll be able to do that. And then um, apparently we have a tab here that goes to nothing. And then this next spot back here is, um, I, I keep notes from our church sermons back here and um, just extra extra note paper, you know, to write down whatever I need to write down. To-do list pages, you see how big this thing is. So when you get to the end, the pages don't turn very well, but um, that's okay, it worked for me. And then there's a little pocket back here, which I put, you know, little pages or whatever, and then a notepad. So if I need to take, um, jot anything down, it's really easy to do that right there. So. That is my file effect system and how I use this as both my wallet and my envelope system. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about anything, post it in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. Um, it is totally free for you, but you know, it'll just make sure if you're new to YouTube that when you log in, that my videos pop up in your subscription feed um, so you don't miss any. And I guess that's it. Until next time, I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.